Hi guys, welcome back to Scrap in Scotland. You join me today out in the shed. One thing that I've seen a few scrappers take apart that I've never had the opportunity to take apart myself is fire extinguishers. Now I've actually been trying to get a fire extinguisher for some time because we are watching some videos on smelting. Uh, they actually make really good crucibles if you get the stainless, the, the steel ones. So I actually picked one up today. Uh, too old to be refilled. Uh, and I was going to obviously take the brass off it and then use it. Uh, cut in half, use it for a crucible. So I can smelt some aluminium. Uh, so I was slightly surprised when I found out that it was actually aluminium. It's not, it's not steel at all, it's an aluminium one. Uh, and I believe that's the case for all fire extinguishers that are CO2. Uh, so that's what I have. I have a CO2 fire extinguisher and it's aluminium. So I'm just going to scrap it out. Uh, it's actually quite a heavy bit of aluminium as well so all goes to the aluminium pile. I'm just going to show you how I take it apart. Uh, now I have seen other videos as I say uh, guys taking these apart. Shout out to Ian Matthews again. I think Ian has done uh, a couple of videos where doing multiple fire extinguishers. Uh, the video I actually watched, the yours Ian if you're watching, uh, you did have a CO2 one there but I didn't think I saw you take that one apart so I'm going to take this one apart. Uh, so I hope you enjoy that. If you do please uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you haven't seen Ian's videos as well head over to his channel and hit his subscribe button as well. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this quick video of taking apart a CO2 fire extinguisher. So this is the said fire extinguisher. Slight difference to the ones with the uh, water. Uh, as you can see, you've got this kind of big funnel at the end rather than just a, a direct hose. There's a big funnel. Usually the water ones have uh, like a black hose coming off of this side. So this is slightly different. So they're easy to spot the CO2 ones. Uh, and as you can see, there's the carbon, carbon dioxide on the side of it. And... We get a magnet, it doesn't stick to it because it's aluminium. Okay, so a couple of things with these. Obviously, you want to make sure they're discharged. This one, no pressure on it. And again, to make sure that you take the pressure out of it because there can still be some pressure left in it. There's a little one here you can just undo. So I have loosened this one. But we'll take it out and this will release any of the pressure. Okay, so there's a nice little bit of brass. Now inside here, we can focus on it right, there's usually a little uh, piece of uh, brass as well and a little bit in the middle of that and I've actually taken that out already so I'll show you. There's there little nipple in the middle and that releases the pressure okay once you undo that valve so done that put the valve back on just to show you what it was like to, to undo that okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this main piece off and then we're going to separate the brass here and uh, there's not a lot to it as i say you know you're only really trying try to harvest the brass and nice big piece of aluminium here okay so what we need to do now is stick this in the vise uh, so we can twist this off I may actually be able to twist it off by hand so we'll give that a go first of all uh, and if not we'll stick it in the vise and we will use our wrench to get that off okay okay so uh, it's up to yourself whether you take this piece off first then try and take the other piece off uh, I think I will try and do that so we'll get the wrench and we'll see if we can take this piece off first of all okay. it's nice and easy in terms of undoing that and easy to pull it out ok 
Okay, so we'd have to remove these little bits before we can get the brass off that. We'll do that in a minute. Now we just want to try and release this piece. So we'll try and twist it off. Oh, actually, it comes right easy. Oh, there we go. Now with that as well, if it wasn't so easy to take off, and they usually are quite easy, as far as I can see from other people's videos, then I would recommend, you know, your pipe wrench like that. That's a great one to get off. Okay, so there's it off now. Nice big bit of brass, and we've got. I'm not sure we can just pull that out. Try and maybe some sort of release for this. There is a, a nut on there as well, so we'll try and do that. But that's all brass, that piece. And there's our nice aluminium CO2 bottle. Okay, there is a little bit of rubber in there, so we can just pull that out. There we go, a little rubber, rubber o-ring, rubber, rubber seal. And that's that, nothing else to do with that, other than stick it in your aluminium pile. Okay. With this, we will try and undo this and see if we can get this big bit of plastic out. I've seen uh, videos where people say these are can be various different things, plastic, uh, stainless steel, the only ones I've ever seen watching other people has been the plastic ones. Okay. Not quite yet. Loosened it, but not enough. So there's a spring in there as well, obviously control that mechanism. Never sprung too far, little cone shaped spring. Hundred percent sure how we're going to get this out of here, though. Uh, stick in the vice. See if we can uh, maybe bang it through. There we go, just pull it out. Just needed to grip that in the device and then we could pull it free. Okay. Okay, a little magnet test. Definitely brass. And then we've got this piece of brass now that we need to remove from the steel handle. Okay. Shouldn't be too difficult to get this off, but uh, don't know, maybe just a little wedge in there and then a hammer might do it. Nope, 
not quite, not, well, not on that one. Another option. You could just cut through that with the grinder, but you have to get the grinder out. It's definitely got to be an easier way than this to try and do it. Getting handled off is one thing, but it's still not pull this little crimped piece out, which is what I want to do because that's the bit that goes through. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put in the grinder, guys, and I'm going to. I'm going to put it in the vise and I'm going to grind it off. Because there gets a time in a man's life when the grinder has to come out. A little hole punch gets that off. Okay, so that's your steel in a steel pile. Can now get this piece of brass off of here. So we've got a little rubber o ring, then plastic ring and that actually seems to be this is lipped so you can see it doesn't come off over there and I can't see how I get that out of there So the grinder's coming back out again. Okay, and there's a little bit of brass. This uh, does feel like it's aluminium as well. We'll get the brass off first. Not quite sure if we can unscrew this. Pull that out. I'm not sure.
does it out, we can just get rid of this piece now, just a bit of plastic. I see you. Definitely aluminium, I just need to get this little rubber coating off it. There we go. A little bit of aluminium pipe. Into an aluminium bin. And here is our brass. Okay, all that brass weighs 347.2 grams. So a little bit there, right? 348.8. Okay, so that's it, guys. That is taking apart a fan extinguisher. Uh, in fact, what we'll do, we'll stick on the fan extinguisher to see how much aluminium there was. And that is 2,413 grams. So just under two and a half kilo. Yeah. Which is fine. Two and a half kilo. Not so bad. So there you go. Obviously I had that little piece as well. That I took off from the nozzle. That probably makes it up to two and a half kilo. So there you go guys, there's how easy it is to take them apart, obviously if you're taking them apart make sure they're discharged, check out some of the videos online, that's what I did before doing mine, uh, hopefully you're doing that and that's why you've came across this one, if you enjoyed this one, again, thanks for coming along, really appreciate you guys at Scrap in Scotland, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and uh, tune in for much more videos, many more videos, okay, thanks guys, bye now.